All right, guys, over the last couple hours, there's been some pretty major news in the crypto world. First off, Gary Gensler and his cronies at the SEC have lost yet again. Basically, the judge has rejected his SEC motion to file an appeal against Ripple. And uh, both these stories will be in the description below. So if you're interested in reading more on it, feel free to click there. But basically, the SEC, Gary Gensler, wasn't happy that they lost their last case when it involved XRP as a security being sold to people. They were trying to get that overturned or at least get a trial to get it overturned. And believe the judge said, hey, you're not giving us any new information. You're not abiding by your own rules. So we're not going to go there. And because of that, they can't try to overturn it again until after this trial is already done. And if we take a look at it, the trial is set to end on April 23rd. What happens in April of next year? It's either April or May. I don't remember off the top of my head. It's the Bitcoin having it. So if we get even more good news and the SEC gets thrown under the bus again, that will be our launch pad into the next bull market i'm super super stoked for this i don't know how much better news we can get involving all this out of all the major lawsuits with the sec over the last couple of years i think they only won one and that was against library token and even then i think with all these current rulings and everything that's going on they might even have a chance to get back into that and fight back off the sec again and the other bit of news, not to get too political, we have a new Speaker of the House. The old Speaker, Kevin McCarthy, was replaced. And now we have a new temporary Speaker with Patrick McHenry. And as we know, Patrick McHenry was someone who was fighting against Gary and his cronies when it regarded the regulation process. I actually have uh, videos on my channel involving that. We'll watch a quick clip real quick. Clearly, an asset cannot be both a commodity and a security. Do you agree? Um, I, I it, actually, all securities are commodity under the Commodity and Exchange Act. It's that we are excluded commodities. But I would agree that a security cannot be also an excluded commodity and an included commodity. I'm sorry, Chair, just to talk about the Commodity Exchange Act more precisely. OK, so do you recognize uh, how would you categorize Ether then? I think that the general sweep of what Congress did, not just in the 30s, but as amended. I'm asking you, sitting in your chair now to make an assessment under the laws as exist, is Ether a commodity or a security? Without speaking to anyone. I know you've okay, repeatedly said that you're not going to speak to facts. one, except you've spoken to one, Bitcoin. So I'm asking you to speak to a second one, the lar second largest market cap here. And speaking to the tokens, there's 10 to 12,000. If there's a group of entrepreneurs in I'm the I'm asking about the one. The public is anticipating a profit based on the- I'm asking a specific question, Chair Gensler. I said this in private. This should be no shock to you. I'm asking this question. Is, it an e is Ether a commodity? Or security. And again, it depends on the facts and the law. And if there's a group of I'm asking you about the facts and the law sitting in your seat and the judgment you are making. And so, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, I think you, you would not want me to prejudge because I'm also. But you have chair. prejudged on this. You've taken you've taken 50 enforcement actions. We're finding out as we go, as you file suit, as people get Wells notices on what is a security in your view in your agency's view. I'm asking you a very simple question about the second largest digital asset. What is your view? And my view is, is if there's a group of individuals in the middle, middle that the public is- All right, so let me just ask a second question then. Do you think it serves the market for an object to be to be viewed by the commodities regulator as a commodity and the securities regulator to be viewed as a security? Do you think that provides uh, safety and soundness for, for for the product? Do you think it provides consumer protection? Do you see? Do you think it serves the value of innovation? I think no should be a very simple answer for you here. I think that uncertainty is bad, is it not? And I think that Congress has said that there's one agency, the Securities and Exchange Commission, under this committee. And you won't answer my question, and you're the head of that agency. So give me a break. Come on. Again, guys, this is only temporary. Depending on how the factions in the Republican Party decide to go, I'm currently very bullish on this move, knowing that 
in these upcoming elections, crypto is one of my major go-to points because I don't want to see this industry die and leave the United States. But that will be as far as politically I go in this channel, at least right now. Other than that, guys, let me know what you think of this situation. Are you happy with the change in the speakership? Are you happy with the news involving the SEC, Gary Gensler, and the judge? Let me know in the comments section below. Take care. Spike your hair. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.